side. The rotation is going to be right on time as well for Tyloo. No flank happening. They were thinking about it. Somebody's going to go down to Coldy. Big opening for Spirit. And it's good trying to bring it back. You can see him slacking away at those heads, but not connecting. Ventet, though, will do a great job just USP connecting Coldy with two in return. Triple for him right now. Still got some more bullets in there. I don't know who hit him at that point in time. Maybe a teammate, I'm not sure. Oh, this is dirty. Yeah, the bomb's right in front, but the smoke is going to fade. They should be able to see him. And he's not connecting the shots. He's oh, in a lot of trouble. He's definitely going to get that one kill, but he should have gone down already, it feels like. And there's the backup coming from Didi. He's solo on health, just sniping in the background from the bank. The bomb will finally be planted after a very, very long delay here. And it will be Team Spirit to pick up the pistol round. Hey. Oh, great fine, great late boost. boost. We see that ha tried so often, and it doesn't really always do uh, that much, but this is well worth it. And another one followed up. SDY gets taken down from somebody. So now five on three. This is another one of those back and forth games, Moses. Let's let's buckle up. Let's get ourselves strapped in for this one. Sotvik going to be running into the bomb site, taking care of somebody, looking for more than UMP. Can't complete the triple, but it was very close indeed. He's going to be spraying down one in the follow-up as well. Quick triple for him, and that's on once in a while. Oh, he's ready for it, but it goes too late. He thought that was going to put it out, and I did too. But it had to wait to land on the low ground, and he burned. I, it even landed. I just don't think it put it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Benzet pushed up behind the smoke. Are we going to see the triple boost? Uh, oh, no, we're not. I feel like I missed that. I would love to see that, Moses. Been too long now. I don't know why people don't do it. Oh, good great. kill from Sotvik. Bentet came through the smoke, and it's all on somebody. What a good shot there from Extra, taking down Deemer, and then the follow-up, as you said, somebody standing his ground and getting a triple kill. Not bad at all. Four to two here. The other side is somebody. A bit of an awkward fight here that really could determine a lot for how this A-hold is going to stand up. 45 seconds now. I like the idea of having Davkost versus an Excurate with the AWP, both really good at it. Setting up for a bit of a smoke here. Let's see how this goes. 35 seconds. You may have been right, Moses. They may have realized that A defense is a little bit weak, but Sotvik caught sleeping and somebody will take him down. That's a big kill, and now it doesn't even matter what they do. Davkost and Coldy are left, but they're just not going to have any chance getting those done. And nobody goes down on the Tailu side. 6-2 to two in their favor. Round and you're right, it is going to be a rush right into the bombs. Like Captain Mo might get caught completely on guard. Grenade in hand, he's down. And Dima's absolutely here to play, taking down Mo. He jumping on top, sprays the body. That was the return. And Dima again, more headshots ringing in. He is playing an excellent game right now. Last couple of rounds, making sure Spirit have a great chance of having a good first half here. Even maybe a great first half. If they save these two rifles, Tyloo, they can buy into the next round. They can force up and have a pretty pretty solid situation, but Tyloo not ready for that pace. Forced back very early on, so fourth for Team Spirit when they looked out. It comes a hit. It smokes out. Molotovs. All the flashbangs are coming through Monster Tunnel. And there's the counter nades as well. Somebody's got to get down the flames. He's got a blind opponent. He runs out of bullets, but he does a drive-by. Great damage. Everyone from Tyloo is here now. This is a very confusing defense, but it's working beautifully, isn't it? All the damage here, a great double spray down, taking down somebody, goes down as well, now missed shot there, he's looking for it, Coldy, he really wants to make this happen, a little bit more damage output, still 15 seconds, again, they can just hide and wait for the ball, there's no reason to try and fight this, they will, position, here we come, pop flash through, DD, point of contact on the ramp, one more time, 44 seconds here, and flashbangs all around, nobody can see anything at the moment, they need to get the bomb down quick, and SDY went off track. Going to be going down. Now the boost on the other side, and X-Crit will hit the shot on Dima. This is not bad at all. They need the bomb plant, though, and the bomb is now making its way in. Davkos with the AWP going to be able to put it down. Four on three with 24 seconds left. The bomb does go down. Now can Tyloo go for the retake? Sotvik has to get the kill, and he's not going to be able to. A lot of pressure on the remaining one. Davkos missing one shot. Oh, my God. Coldy with a big double spray. And now they're going to try and run him down. One bullet is enough, and somebody on the other side. Davkos, he needs the headshot, and he needs it right now. He's not going to get it. Somebody takes him down instead. Great triple. But I need to see that spray from Coldy. That was so quick. And that was the only way they were going to win that round. I think Davkos missed, but um, he just doesn't care, does he? No, he really doesn't. He's just not interested. Oh god, he did it again. <laughs>
feel like he should have had two kills in this round already. Maybe he's, he's a little bit frustrated out there. Those shots didn't land. Good aggression, clearing things out. Coldy over in short. They're going to hunt him down as well. That's DD pushing up to find the kill. And now they have to hit the A-bomb site. It's the only option left. They're just getting picked off. Not even sure where everyone's playing. Ty Lu. A s I don't think he cares if they get close now. In fact, he might even he might even wish for it. Now, of course, going to be taking down DD. Big beginning here for Team Spirit in a much needed pistol round. Oh, oh he's going to flank out a little bit. He's still taking down somebody. Now the defense is looking incredible. And as they try and jump for the smoke, that C set 75 on the other hand. Absolutely ready for it. Interesting buy, but it worked. No reason to believe that Davkos is going to be able to make his escape. Around the corner, so I getting one good kill. He's still alive, and Captain Mo will drop him now. Davkos gets the one, but there's no follow up. Only one of them went in that way. Davkos can actually hold this a little bit. He's going to get shot in the back. Go back up on the bomb side, and Bent had to take down Coldy. That's a big mistake here. 15 seconds, and the bomb is going to be going down. Dima shot in the face. Says DY going to follow. No trouble at all. Somebody is having an incredible game right now. MP9 is out, but he's kind of left his walker alone over at long. It could be a bit uncomfortable. There's one kill. Down close in a lot of trouble, and he's going to be going down. Coldy in time to get just the one kill, and he doesn't actually spot that extra. It anyway, and finally gets the sight on him. He's still going to be going down, and now it's a one on two, but it's DD with the AWP. He gets the kill on Deemer. He's got 35 seconds. He's going to come back for more, and SDY is waiting for him. My god, that's close. Tyloo, you said they'd, they'd like something out of those pit. This is good at least. SDY and Demon taking control short series. Oh, they're going to get crunched though. That flashback is so perfect. Oh, this could be the end. They almost line up in that doorway, but just not enough. Rotation is on. Tyloo might want to blow up through the smoke. They're coming through Monster as well, but actually they, they hold just to get the utility out. Coldy here by the pillar. Down at the B-bomb side trying to wait it out. The smoke is in front of him. He's going to be able to hide here a long time. The backup is certainly there, four on three. Technically, I don't actually need to commit to this, but finding the kills, I guess they can't find a good reason why not to. Sotvik going to pick up one kill. The grenade is going to land on the bomb hunter. Didn't take anyone down. We didn't know where Sotvik is now, for sure. Down on the low ground. Extra is waiting for him on that one side. Actually getting the headshot anyway. Sotvik really doing a good job in this round. I'm still not sure it's going to be enough. Somebody's waiting over there by the sandbags, and it's so hard to clear someone out, and he's actually going to go aggressive. Unusual way to play it, but it works. If Tai Lu just does not clear a corner, now we're getting to the point where there's long players. They don't feel any pressure. Sotvik is pushing up. Davkos rotating back. This is going to be a hard hit. Tai Lu's got to go now. Yep. The clock is ticking against them. Dima looking over, but he still gets the double. And now SDY down here with the bomb. He's going to get one more in there. It's looking great at the moment. Backing off and just gets taken out, but still another flank. And the bomb is down again. Now Bentet, one versus two. Needs that quick headshot against Sotvik. He's going to be picking up the bomb and falling back into the site. Ready and waiting for him on the other side is Davkost. And that scout has put him down to three health. This is not good, is it? Bentet. Oh, he's looking for the headshot here, but he's not going to get it. Sotvik will take him down and Team Spirit will keep it alive. It had better be damn perfect here. 28 seconds now. Tyloo looking to close out the map. Defense on the bomb site. Very weak at the moment. Dima has to run out of the fire. I know he's not going to make it. Captain Mo taking him down and Cole one good return. But Didi catching him. And now Sotvik coming in for the flank. He might be the only one right now who can actually open up this bomb site. He needs to get one clean kill, but he was in a crossfire. And he goes down. And that's it. 16 12 Tyloo taking map number one here against Team Spirit. And moving on to Inferno. If they win that as well. They're going to go to the legend stage. What a what an interesting way to get started. Somebody with 27 kills. Wow.